I am Gray Moose Woodworking. I am 47, almost 47. Halloween, I'll be 47. Oh my Lord, 50's coming close. But anyway, I am a woodworker. I make custom butcher block countertops and I do everything out of a small two car garage. Um, one of my biggest gripes with YouTube woodworkers is the fact that they've got these massive shops and tens and thousands of hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment that, well, guys like us just can't afford. So I'm here to help you do what they do on a limited budget. Give you a little tour of the shop first. It's, it's, it's tiny. I mean, it's a two bar garage. Um, I've got a workbench here. Bear with me on the lighting. All this YouTube filming is kind of new to me. Clamp rack, workbench, industrial shelving, my stack of lumber. See how small my shop is? I can't even get everything in the frame. Uh, got my stack of lumber there. Got my fateful old Craftsman drill press, bandsaw, table saw. It's a little dark over here in the corner. DeWalt 12 inch compound miter saw. Oh, let me get this. Eight foot by four foot workbench. I keep my, uh, Ben sander, my lunchbox planer, um, just some random things under there, shop vacs under there. This is a countertop project I'm currently working on. These two big, beautiful slabs of maple are a countertop to be made in the future. Um, coming over here, let me see if I can shine a little light on the subject. Still a little dark, and I apologize, all this is new to me. So I keep hand tools on this wall. Nothing fancy. Got a few Harbor Freight tools in there. Got some eBay stuff, some Amazon stuff. Got some good stuff. It just really depends on, um, you know, your budget. I keep my hand planes up here. My drill charging station. You see, I'm a big fan of the 12 volt Milwaukee system. There's my shop air conditioner. Got a place for all my uh, squares, levels, over there. So it's, it's, it's there again. I mean, I'll just do a, a 360. It, it's, it's a very small shop and I'm putting out huge countertops. Like I said, my biggest gripe is I don't have a 5,000 square foot. Sorry for the lighting, folks. Sorry for the lighting. Uh, I don't have a 5,000 square foot shop. And I don't know that I want a 5,000 square foot shop. Like I said, we're doing very primitive on this little first little video. Um, I like my little shop. I like being able to, you know, come out here at 10 o'clock at night and work if I want to. Uh, if I had a commercial building across town, I wouldn't be able to do that. Um, I had back surgery three years ago almost. Uh, it was pretty major. I was out of work for over a year. Um, I suffered tremendously it was uh one of the worst things i've ever went through in my life um but i'm healed and i'm happy but my my problem was after work was was going back to work um i took a job that i didn't like and i kind of stumbled back into woodworking i grew up in a wood shop uh, while the other kids were out playing football and baseball i was in a cabinet shop um, the butcher block countertops that I'm specializing in now, it was just kind of a fluke. Uh, I just kind of fell into them. Uh, and, and I'm grateful. Uh, 
thank God I fell into them because I mean it's a pretty premium product and and everybody seems to be pretty happy with them um, but like I said you know my main thing is is, is is guys like me don't have anything in common with the big fancy YouTube woodwork I mean I've got a couple of the same tools that they have but you guys know as well as I do that I can't go out and drop $700 on a Festool sander. Uh, I'm not going to go drop $700 on a sander. I bought the $100 rigid sander and it does just fine. Um, and there's a lot of guys out there like me that, are, that think the same way. And it's just, you know, if, if you want to be a show off, and brag about having a $700 sander, you know, that's fine. I don't, I don't care. That's your business. It's your business. I can't, and probably even if I could afford those tools, probably wouldn't buy them. Um, so there again, I want to make a channel for the little guy, the small one man show woodworker, just like myself, that's out here hustling every single day, trying to make a living. So I will start videoing my uh, countertops from now on. I've been trying to get into it slowly. Uh, it's just a lot to do the work. And then you know, remember to turn a camera on or, or set up makeshift lighting that I've got set up. Um, it's, it's, it's a whole, you know, it's a whole lot of extra work to do this. And my hat's off to the guys that do it, especially the little guys that are I got full-time jobs at you know at the plant or or wherever, uh, and they find time to do this, and you know I envy that. I don't, uh, I just uh, wow, I, you know I don't know that I got the drive that some of them do. That's why I forget to hit the record button so often. So, you know I just want to I just want to show people that you just you don't have to have a hundred thousand dollar wood shop. To make a living doing woodworking, I am full-time self-employed woodworker. Um, I don't make any money from Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. Every tool I own, I either inherited from my late father, or I paid for them myself. Um, you know, and when you're when you're self-employed, you're on a budget. Sometimes, you know, is it the tool you want? Maybe not. But is it the tool you need? Well. Yeah, it is, and sometimes it might not be as fancy as the tool that you you hope you could have. Um, but there again, you know, not everybody can afford to buy the super premium high end tools, and I'm not one of those guys that can afford to do it. So I want to make sure that you guys know that you can put out quality work, a small shop, and make a living. So I'm gonna sign off here. I'm gonna upload this. I'm gonna. I haven't even created the channel yet. Um, so I'm getting ready to go and create the channel here in a few minutes, and this will be the first upload. It's kind of primitive. I get it, but it'll be okay. So um, you know, welcome to Gray Moose Woodworking, and um, let's have some fun and let's make stuff.